whenever I say SLE, not now, let's meet, let's see that we are meeting after 20 years. And I'm going to say, what do you see in SLE? What will you remember first? Neuropsychiatric, hemodynamia. What will you remember first? Mala, discord rash. You remember skin manifestations. Even you become the greatest doctor, the first thing you're going to remember is skin manifestations, which means they are the commonest presentation for me. Which comes to my question, why skin? Yes, why skin first? Why mala region second? I need to know them. If I know them, I can, maybe I may solve something. That's what we're going to see now. So SLE, primary mechanism of action of SLE is, it's a type 3 hypersensitive reaction, right? Type 3 hypersensitive reaction means it's an anti immune complex mediated damage, right? It's an immune complex mediated damage. Predominant of them are immune complex mediated damage in SLE. Let's assume like this. See, let's assume like this. I just want you to imagine a bit. Let's assume like this. I have this guy, blood vessel, where I had the immune complex going like this. Antibody, attached antigen, going like this in the circulation. Tell me, when will you have a trouble? When the immune complex gets deposited in my endothelium or if they are just in my circulation. When they get deposited in my endometrium, endothelium, right? So tell me again, when will my immune complex get deposited in my endothelium? When the flow is slow or when the flow is faster? Obviously, when the flow is sluggish. When the flow is sluggish, my immune complex get deposited in my endothelium Cause activation, complement, interleukin, lots of inflammatory cell causes vasculitis. That's how it damages everywhere. That's how it damages everywhere from head to foot. Main problem is vasculitis, except for a few manifestations. So whenever my blood flow is slow, this the immune complex, normally I have a laminar flow, no problem at all. There'll be no problem when there's a laminar flow, they'll be in the center. I have no issues at all. If they're not deposit, center or corner, they do not deposit. But when they have a sluggish flow, the flow becomes slow. What happens is, my same thing, my immune complex will get deposited here. The immune complex kind of gets deposited here. Once they're going to get deposited here, they're going to trigger an inflammatory response. You will have complements coming inside. You will have uh, neutrophils, inflammatory cells coming inside. Lots of them and obviously it's going to cause damage all over. It's got damages, it will cause vasculitis, it affects the organ. Okay? And it causes end organ damage. So now my query is why and when will my blood flow slow in my body? And just normal hemodynamics. The solution is always in very simple terms. Let's I'm having a straight road. I'm driving in a straight road. That's my laminar flow. My speed is completely normal. Suddenly I have a turn. I have a U-turn. I'll go slow, U-turn, and then come like this, right? So when I have a U-turn, or when my capillary bends like this, when my capillary bends like this, I have a trouble because the flow will automatically come down. That's natural hemodynamics. The flow will come down and it will get deposited. It will cause damage. Look at skin, histology of skin. You have two layers, epidermis, dermis. In dermis, you have two layers, papillary, reticular dermis. If you remember the blood vessels, you, it will be in the papillary dermis. The blood vessel will be like this, hairpin shaped, curvature, U-turn. That's why there is a problem. Glomerulus, cup, noodles, hairpin shaped problem. In other words, the predominant organs affected by SLE have lots of happen shaped vessels. That's why I'm going to have a trouble. That's why I'm going to have a trouble, right? The problem is the bent, happen. Wherever you have a lots of happen shaped blood vessels, they get deposited there and they're going to attack my vessels. It's going to attack the organ as well. So when I take a skin, let's assume this is epidermis. I'm just writing EPI for epidermis. This dermis in between, my blood vessels would be like this. Papillary dermis. The papillary dermis will have blood vessels. So when it gets affected, it's going to affect my epidermis. It causes vascular, it causes photosensitivity, it causes your malar and discoid rash. Perfect, clear, amazing. Your query should be then why skin? 
Why mala region of skin? Why not the entire skin? You should, it should have arised. Simple region. Touch here, you know the answer. Touch here, what do you have? Fat. Touch here. Do you have fat? No. We touch here, lots of fat. Fat. We read in, we will read in amyloidosis. Or we read in your first chapter. Insulin. Why we given fat? Because of abundant capillaries. The density of capillary in the buckle, in this fat, in the cheek fat will be too much. So it's not one vessel, multiple vessel, plus sun exposure, vasodilatation. So why your malar and discoid rash, why my butterfly area is, amazing right, size is so amazing, is the fat. You have increase in density of capillaries. When I have increase in density of capillaries, I'm going to have a problem. There will be more deposition, more damage. More deposition of the immune complex, you will have more damage. The patient presents to me first with my malar and discoid rash. Actually, if you remember, if you read the classical textbooks, it will be given, you will have malar and discoid rash, which will spare your nasolabial fold. Simple reason. Fat here. Fat here. Nasolabial fold doesn't have much fat which spares nasolabial fold. It may not be always, but this is how the classical explanation is. Everything falls in place, right? Science